Hey y'all, time for our next Medical Minute. So tonight we get to continue our discussion on xenoestrogens. And in our last Medical Minute, we talked about how these uh, chemicals in our environment can allow for us to have a decreased testosterone and kind of act like an estrogen in our body and therefore allow us to hold on to weight easier. And now we need to discuss how do we avoid these things? Well, an easy way to remember this is that's the four P's. So plastics, preservatives, produce, and pesticides. In plastics, the things that we wanna avoid are things like BPA or phthalates especially. And so if you see the label on there that says BPA free, phthalates free, go ahead and go for that brand because that does make a difference. That is especially true whenever we're heating up our food. So guys, no heating up your food in plastics because those plastics will leach into your food and cause things, but especially if they have, uh, if they are the specific ones, then it can help you hold on to weight easier. The other thing is preservatives. So if a label, food label has a whole bunch of chemicals in it, or it says, you know, such and such chemical name for, pres for uh, preservation, try to keep that our diet. So we really just want to try to stick to a whole food diet. That is a big reason why things like the little Debbie snacks that will sit on your desk and stay moist for years are not a good thing. Uh, those chemicals in there actually do make a difference in our body. It's not just a calorie gain. So we've talked about this before and it's not just calorie in, calorie out. Those chemicals make a difference in how our body processes these foods. The other thing is produce. So this is one that confuses people a little bit because people think well, flaxseed is healthy and soy is healthy. And in moderation, both can be flaxseed more than soy probably, but it can be healthy for us in moderation. We just won't want to do too much of it. And the other part of that is if you are somebody who you know your testosterone's too low, then you know it's probably something that we need to find a different alternative. And the last one is pesticides. So that's one reason why going organic in your food source can be really beneficial. If you're having trouble getting off that weight, um, that might be something that can help you with a plateau. So that's interesting medical, nutritional, everything information. I'll talk to you later.